Hello students, we are going to see now a program, a simple program to create a vending machine, right? So I am going to go to Visual Basic, Standard EXC, Project and in the project I am going to just design a thing for vending machine. What was a vending machine? You go anytime, you just go and you just uh, click on whatever snack you want. You select your snack like cola or Pepsi, I mean, you can just get almonds or some mousa, whatever you want, you just get it, you just click on that and put your paisa inside and get the amount. So that is what is the vending machine. So this is a program for vending machine. So here it's nothing but vending machine program. So for that, I mean at that time I can select only one snack of my choice. To do that I need option buttons and to group option buttons together I use the frame control. The frame control which is used to group similar controls which do the similar task together. So I put frame here and I change the capture of the frame to select your snack right and what is snacks I'm going to select I'm going to have option one I'm going to have four option buttons option one option two option three and option four so we've got four option buttons. Let the first option be Pepsi. Let it be Pepsi. The second option B. Let's say I want some uh, samosa. Samosa. Let the third option be. Let's say I want some chocolates. Right. third option is chocolates and the fourth option B I want roasted almonds almonds so I have four options option one option two option three and option four so if I'm choosing option one it's going to be Pepsi if it's option two it's samosa chocolates and Elements. So of course, how much I do I want? Do I want what is the quantity I want? The next one is I'm going to just ask the person. I want Pepsi, but how much? So I'll say enter quantity. So I'm going to ask the person to enter a quantity he wants, right? So he'll enter the quantity. Of course, it's a input. So I'll have a text box. Right, I have a text one there and to display what the snack I am dispensing I will say dispensed snack so what snack am I dispensing to show that I have a label here so that's label 4 it's label 4 And I'll just name this. I have a text box here. I'm just going to name it as TXT quantity. I'm going to name it as TXT quantity. And this label 4, it's going to be it's going to be snack name it's like s thing. lbl display it's going to be lbl display so the label force name is lbl display oh no i that i put a label label force name 
I'm sorry, this is label one. This is label one, let it be label. This is going to be, label four is going to be LBL display. So it is LBL display and again I'm going to show the total bill. This is going to be it's going to be total bill. How much is the cost? Total cost. Total bill. And this is going to be TXT bill. I'm going to name this as TXT bill. Take off the text, right? And then I'm going to have a button here. Once I say enter the quantity, I'll press the button and it will show me the total bill and the distance stack. So this is going to be dispense snack and then I have one more button which is going to be my exit button exit so I have my exit exit and of course end so these are the things of course here I have label four's name is label display label four's name is label display so this is my design and of course I'm going to add one more thing here called flexi grid flexi grid is used to show the bill in a very detailed and clear way so to include the flexi grid, go to project components and you come to Microsoft flexi grid control 6. Can you see here? Microsoft flexi grid control 6 and you say apply and then close. You have the flexi grid here. Just put it down here very neatly. So you have a flexi grid here. And just go to the number of columns. So how many columns do you want here? So I want the serial number, snack name, snack price, quantity, and I want the maximum price. Right? So total it is be it's going to be almost five fields. I want five fields in the column. Five columns. I want five columns here. So in here I have a C O L S. Can you see that? Make it as five, make it as five, which shows you the five columns. So you have five columns there. So just make sure that you make the columns as five. The column property of MS FlexiGrid is made as five. And here, the name is MS FlexGrid one. It is too big name for me to use in programming. So I will use MS FG one, MS FG one. So my MX flexible name is MS FG1. So these are the, this is actually the design. Once the design is done, I am going to do some general declarations in this program. So for general declaration, go to the general declaration part and declare in serial number as integer and then in row number because I may select more than a snack so I need to have more than one row so as a as integer and then suppose I'm selecting samosa I'm selecting Pepsi I need to have the total bill amount so for total bill I will have total bill as integer done Right, I have finished the general declaration part. So the person who is going to come, he's going to choose. In this, he's going to choose any one. He's going to say dispense snack. Then the snack is going to be displayed here. Then he's going to choose something else, send dispense snack. So total amount will be displayed in the total bill. So let's see what the code, how the code goes for when you dispense the snack. So when you say dispense a snack, yeah, you're going to the dispense snack. So initially, what I will do is, I will check if they have entered the quantity. If the person has not entered the quantity or if the quantity is less than zero, there are some mischievous people who will enter the quantity to be less than zero or it will be empty. So in that case, you have to give a mirror error message. So if TXT quantity 
is equal to 0, is equal to empty, nothing, they're not type anything, or txt quantity is less than or equal to 0, and of course here it is value. The previous one was empty string, here it is value because the content of a text box is always a string, so it have to, have to convert into a value. And then you have to give an error message, so it is message box, enter proper quantity, enter proper quantity, exit sub, I don't want to continue anymore, so I will exit the procedure and sub. So if everything is proper, the person is going to enter. So in that case, if he has chosen the first option, snack one, so I have kept the name of the option, but it is option one, option two, option three and option four. So if option one dot value equal to true, so the person has chosen the option one, right? Then what am I going to do? In that case, what will be the snap name? The snap name is going to be the caption of the option button. So option one dot caption. The caption property has the name. You have the caption property. If you see here, the caption property has Pepsi, Samosa, Chocolates and Almonds. So it is the caption property which has got the name. So S name is option one dot caption and the price snack price it can be anything I'll just give as 20 my right? Pepsi is 20 else if right else if the person has chosen the next option button I'll copy this to avoid typing so else if if it is going to be option 2 dot value then of course I'm going to choose the Control C. I'm going to choose it. This is Control V. S name is going to be option two dot caption. The second caption was, I believe, it was samosa or something, right? It was samosa. So let it be ten rupees. Let it, let me price it as rupees ten. And if it is going to be option three dot value, sorry, option three dot value, then S name is going to be option three dot caption and it's going to be chocolates is going to be again 10 rupees okay and if it's going to be option four dot value anything it's going to be option four in that case control b that's it we have got and if sorry and if so option 4 dot caption and let the almonds be some 40 rupees. Almonds are always costly. So that would be 40 rupees. So now done. And I've just got the values. And now, so once the person clicks here, I'm just getting the name of the snack and the price. Now I have to put the name of the snack in the discipline snack. And of course I have to calculate the bill and I have to show him the flexibility in the next part. So done. Now I have to show the dispense snap. So it is LBL display. LBL display dot caption equal to S name. So we have got the name. So now I need to add one more row to our, I mean, uh, to our flexi view. So initially, I will set the row count to 0 in the form load. In the form load, let me set the row number to be 1 and serial number also to be 1. SL number SL number also to be 1. In the form load, in the product is starting, I have set these things. Right? And, and then what I am going to do is, I am just going to say MS flex grade one dot 
rows. That is a property called rows and having one more rows. Right? Rows. That is a row and rows. I am just going to add rows. There are two properties. There is also a property called row. Go to the rows. It is equal to ms flexi with one dot rows plus one. I am adding one more row and ms flexi with one dot text matrix. The box that is considered as a text matrix. If you see the box here, it is considered as a text matrix. This is row number and column number. So, text matrix 0, 0 is this one. Right? And this is 1, 0. This is second column. It is 0, 1. This is 1, 1. 0, 2. 1, 2. So, it is a matrix. Basically, a matrix. So, here, I am just going to fill the values in the matrix. So, just dot Print one MS execrate one dot text matrix. Can you see here text matrix? So text matrix, the row number. I specify the row number. Row number is one. Row number is one. I have just given initialized to one here. Row number is one. Come out. The column number is zero so i need to give the serial number i need to give the first column is going to be the serial number so it is sl number sl number and i will copy this i will copy this and i will paste it here so here the first column it is going to be the name initially number the name of the snack and then the next column is going to be price. So it is S price. The next column is going to be the quantity which you are going to order. TXT quantity dot text dot text. And the next column is going to be the total price. So you got, you have the price is 20, you are getting 2 Pepsi Cola. So it is 40. So here you are going to have value of TXT QTY star S price. It's a S price. So if I am getting 2, quantity is 2, S price is 20, the total cost is 40. That is what is the last column. Right? And then of course total bill. Total bill is equal to total bill plus value of MS flexi grid 1 dot text matrix the last column right text matrix R number comma 4 R number comma 4 so total bill you have got and this total bill has to be placed in the text box there so txt bill is equal to total Right, takes it is equal to total B. Now you are getting ready for the next addition. So increment your R number is equal to R number, row number plus 1. SL number, serial number is equal to serial number plus 1. And I am entering the text quantity for next input. So that is the code. I am going to execute now. So, if you execute here and choose samosa, right, I will say dispense now. I am sorry, it says end if. Okay, end sub and output. Sorry, it is end if. Open sentence up there, yeah. 
So it says enter proper quantity. Proper quantity is not entered. So I'll enter the quantity. I want two samosas. I want two samosas and I say dispense snack. If you see, it says dispense snack is samosa. Total bill is 20. Samosa, serial number one, samosa. Price is 10. Number of quantity is two, total price. If you see here, if I add a heading here, it will be more prettier. Do you feel that? So let me have the captions here so that can be more prettier. So let me go there. To do that, I'll go to the form loan. I'll go to the form loan. I go to the form loan. In the form loan, right in the form loan, I'll say, I'll just put that as MS FG1 dot text matrix, sorry, dot text matrix zero comma zero, zero comma zero. This is going to be serial, I'm sorry, this is going to be serial number. It's going to be serial number. I'll copy this. Control C. Sorry, Control C. Control B. The first column, it's going to be snack name. So it is snack name. The next column is going to be unit price of the snack. I think it's unit price, right? Yeah. It's unit price. And the next column is going to be quantity. Let me put QTY. The next column is going to be price. It's going to be price. So I put everything down here. Right? So I put the name, I mean headings there. And then when I say exit, it will show me the amount I have to pay. So I'll say message box. Total bill is, and I say, and percent, and can say txt bill dot text, and I'll say n. Right? That will be the thing. So now I'm going to execute. Can you see that? I've got the captions: little numbers, snack name, unit price, quality, and price. So I'm just choosing pep, say Pepsi. I'm just saying minus nine. I'll say distance snack. Enter proper quantity. So I need some, let me say, three Pepsis. I'll say dispense snack. So Pepsi is dispense. So total amount is 60. Now I want next samosa. I want some 10 samosas. Right? I want some 10 samosas. I say dispense snack. So samosa is dispensed. 100 total amount is 160. You see 100 for samosas and 60 for Pepsi. I want some chocolates. Let me say I want some 5 chocolates. I say dispense snack. If you see there, chocolates, 5 chocolates, 10 rupees, 50. So total amount is 210. So done. I want that much only. I say exit. So it says total bill is 210. You pay the bill, you quit the place. Right? That's the vending machine program.